Really, lighting is, is what motivates me to want to be in architecture. We see architecture through lighting. We don't light space, we light surfaces. So I like to think very carefully, what are the surfaces that are receiving that light and how are they revealed by those light sources? Fortunately, about 10 years ago, some landmark studies were issued that really demonstrated a very solid statistical correlation between daylight and learning. In fact, numbers as high as 21% improvement on standardized test scores when you've got high quality daylight in the classroom. We have our daylighting features in our classrooms, which the teachers feel that the lighting that is natural is actually more conducive to learning that when it's a natural lighting instead of the fluorescent lighting, kids are more in tune to what's happening instructionally and a little bit more focused. They prefer that. They actually come in now and ask, can we turn off the lights if the lights are on because they like to learn better under that kind of a situation. So that really emboldened us to go even farther with our efforts to get daylight in every single school building in every single space. One of the things we love best about our school are the energy saving features we have here. Um, we have the daylighting in the cafeteria and the library as well, which is amazing because we rarely have the lights on in those two places, so I know we're being more energy efficient. It's important in order to save energy, not just to bring daylight in, but at the same time to turn off electric lights. So every classroom in this building that has daylighting also has the electric lighting designed in such a way that they are automatically turning off in response to the daylight. And that's where we get a lot of our energy savings. Stone Mountain Elementary um, has seen savings of uh, $50,000 a year in energy savings, and that's over our typical elementary school. We're able to build these schools cheaper on a square foot basis than surrounding districts, and at the same time, through sustainability, promote an energy saving opportunity for our taxpayers and our schools. You can see we have a lot of windows on this building, and it's important to block the direct sun from causing problems inside the classroom. The sunshades are a really critical part to making this building work in terms of an energy and daylighting perspective. So we use a translucent material in this case to still gather a lot of direct light, but block that direct sun. We've got plenty of daylight coming in through our skylights in this building, so that right now the library, as you can see, doesn't have any of the electric lights on. They are all completely turned off. This classroom is a combination of two kinds of daylight. We have side light coming through the lower view window and the upper clear story window that's illuminating this outer portion of the classroom. And to balance that, then we have two skylights called solar tubes or tubular daylighting devices at the other end of the classroom to provide balance and to fully illuminate the classroom so that in a midday condition, such as we're in right now, there's no need to have any of the electric lights on. And in order to combine top light with side light, we need to take the ceiling that you're seeing here in the classroom and really warp it and shape it quite actively. So what you have is a, a sloping ceiling coming down from the windows combined with a coffering ceiling taking the light from above and diffusing it. The end result of all that then is a really nice, soft, diffused light that bathes the classroom and all the students and the teacher. Well, we've been very fortunate that the state of Colorado is quite supportive of sustainable design in general. And after we finished the first round of prototypes, that is the first five completed buildings of the elementary prototype, we approached the governor's energy office here in the state and asked if they would be willing to fund a $20,000 grant for us to do some research and design investigation to determine how the building could become even more sustainable. The governor's energy office grant that went to the school district to try and make their design more efficient, we think was very effective. This is on the leading edge of school design. And that's why this is such an exciting accomplishment uh, on a part of the Douglas County Schools is because we're leading that charge, not just here in Colorado, but nationally. These kids are the next generation. They're gonna be dealing with energy in entirely different ways than we are today. Getting them exposed to these new developments in energy efficient design and renewable energy resources, all these things, this is introducing them to what their energy future is gonna be. So I truly do love the fact that we have a school that can teach our kids to be responsible for their future.